YouTube, man, what it do is your boy, Matt, back with another sneaker review for Metro Cars and Kicks. And as always, man, we got another beautiful box in the building. But before we go ahead and jump into the uh, sneaker review, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I drop new content, new sneaker reviews, man. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. All right, today we got a men's size 11 and a half Dunk Low Retro SE2 SO Special Edition. Let's see. Well, first of all, before I do that, man, let me, let me let y'all see this beautiful paper they got up in this one, man. Typically, you don't see these in the dunk boxes. But boom! These are the Dunk Low Salmon Trouts, I believe. That's the right term for them. I think this is a dope ass sneaker, man. This is very, very different. Haven't seen. I like when I see these different kind of dunks, man, with these different type of colorways, different designs, just that stuff that's outside of the norm, man, that you can rock on feet, really be stunting on them, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, you got suede all over the toolbox, and this is really, really smooth. I mean, baby booty smooth um, suede, you know what I'm talking about? You got a Nike check, and it has this weird thing. I don't know if this is supposed to be like a little fish tooth or something like that, kind of like a hook, hook lock and sink them, you know? But that's really, really cool. <coughs> also, like, um, on the toe box, how you got this cloth material. And it gives that salmon, trout, rainbow trout kind of vibe. You know what I mean? You got orange here on the tongue. And look, also on the tongue, you got this, says, what? Nike Beaverton, 1972. Not sure what that stands for. But this is dope. That orange is a dope pop of color. And it really goes with the little orange splashes they got here man you got some more premium suede all across the shoe green cloth right here you got a little hint of pink on the back i think that really sets it off and make the shoe different you got some more orange suede with the nike on there mm, you know what i'm talking about and on the bottom here man it's just a plain jane rubber kind of bottom nothing too major but they do kind of separate it with the orange um thread through the bottom here of the shoe but this is dope. And look at the inside. Inside, you get hit with some more pink. And they got another little trout symbol in the inside of the shoe, man. Overall, I think this shoe is really, really dope. Really fire. Um, for far as I can tell right now, man, they're really, really slept on. Uh, from a resale standpoint, no real value in these right now. They're going right at retail. Maybe a little bit over, if that, depending on the platform that you're on. But if you want something that's fly on feet that's different, I say go ahead and cop these, man. Um, check out Haber Sports. They may still have some. Try the Nike app, uh, DTL, or other little places like that. I haven't seen a lot of places that had them. I think Finish Line also had them, too. Um, it may be a good long-term hold, but don't quote me on that. You know, dunks just don't have the same level of popularity that they used to nowadays, man. And just look how that, how that Nike check is flickering, man. That's cool. They got, like, a little metallic shine going on it, but... Overall, I think this is a really, really fly shoe to have on foot. I would definitely rock these for the personal just because they're so different. Blue, te blue jeans, white tee, keep it moving. Um, again, no real resale value in these right now. Never go down the road just because they're so different. But y'all let me know what you think about these, man. Would you cop these or would you drop these, man? Until the next one, it's your boy Matt, and I'm out. Peace.